Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are at the 412 Public Safety Equipment Customs YouTube channel. You guys have made it, and I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Matt Sr., founder and CEO of 412 Public Safety Equipment, Equipment Customs here in Pittsburgh, PA. So this video is going to be to showcase the new Phoenix module programmer. This is a programmer that uh, many manufacturers already have for their equipment, and it is just basically a quicker way to set flash patterns rather than sitting around tapping wire leads to a positive 12 volts or a negative 12 volts until you find a pattern. Um, I know I've had this happen to me where you select a pattern or you change a pattern on accident and then you got to sit down for another 15 20 minutes to get back to the pattern that you or your customers selected for their equipment so before i get into that i did want to address one other thing here we have the phoenix fusion surface mount um doesn't make any difference but this is a dual color that's why if you can see, there's two colors, LEDs in there. Okay, so what I wanted to address, and this has been a question that we have uh, gotten recently, quite a few. Um, these can be used in a stud mount situation. Um, and a lot of people have asked me, well, how's that possible? That it, They're surface mounts. It's impossible. No, actually, it's not. So there is two scroll, screw holes on the back of the FSMs. Now these screw holes were intended for the recess mounting bracket. But with that being said, if you can obtain a set of 440 bolts, you can mount these in a stud mount application. Measure those off, drill two holes, Get your center hole in there for your wire leads. Make sure you're using a grommet. I just switched out a T3 um, yesterday for a fire department that had a T that uh, had the T3 mounted on the fender of their utility truck. Thought it was a warranty issue. What it turned out to be was the shop that initially installed the product had it way too close to the edge. Didn't use a grommet and through driving around the vibration cut into the positive wire lead. Like, uh, the fire chief told me, well, it works every once in a while, so it can't be like 100% bad. And he wanted to swap it out under warranty. And so I got them changed out. I got them set up with a new one. Come to find out through investigation that it was an installation issue. So not a warranty issue. If you, um, I warn you, if you guys don't use grommets and you don't do your installation the right way you're gonna uh find out the hard way you're wasting money okay so that is that if you can get a hold of 440 bolts whatever length that you need um this will work on a stud mount now in my shop we don't use bolts we use um I don't want to say 440 all thread because it's really not. They're 440 like set screws almost. They have a hex, they have a hex key um, built into the center of them. And um, we use those because no matter the depth that we're mounting this in, we can screw those in with some Loctite and then we can um, nut mount them from the backside. Uh, works very well. Stud mount application for the Phoenix surface mounts. All right, now that we have that taken care of, I'm going to move on to this module programmer. I apologize for the blood blister on my finger. I also put a drill bit through my index finger the other day. So, yeah, I apologize for that, folks. I guess that's just part of the demon of the work that we do. All right, so if you guys hold tight, I'm going to uh, pan down, and we're going to take a look at this programmer. Okay, so here we are. This is 
the Phoenix module programmer. As you can tell, I have my Samsung S10 Plus right next to it with the Phoenix Sync app, which is what you will have to download from either the Apple Store or the Android Store, Google Store, whatever you want to call it. So what this programmer is going to do is it is just going to streamline changing flash patterns. So I don't necessarily think that this is a investment that everybody needs to make. This is an investment that makes sense for us at our shop because a lot of times we are setting flash patterns for many, many multiple modules. Um, so... I will explain, guys, that this does not cover the full realm of products. Um, the supported, the supported um, <clears throat> products that Phoenix says this will control is the um, single color fusion surface mounts um, and the dual color fusion surface mounts. Now, keep in mind. This only works correctly with the 2019 version because of the firmware update. Um, it has to do with the um, default pattern that they will reset to. Um, now, they say these are compatible with the Canons, but as I'm sure you've been warned by other dealers, the older cannons do not work 100% with these. Um, they have to be the newer version, and <clears throat> I think they're actually working out those kinks as we speak. The programmer is also compatible with the T3s, the Wide Lux family, which uh, encompasses the 9x7, the 7x3, and the 6x4s. So keep that in mind. Um, I guess they don't recommend this for programming light sticks or anything like that. So I'm going to give a little demonstration of how this works. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to pause this video and get the other dual color light hooked up. All right, guys. Welcome back. <clears throat> I have um, everything wired up and set. So let me just uh, show you, this is very, very simple, okay? So you download the Phoenix Sync app, okay? Mine's obviously an Android, all right? Now, if you notice, up top, we have the Connect Bluetooth. There's nothing crazy you have to do. There's no passwords, no anything. It doesn't have to search, doesn't have to pair. Well, actually it does have to put it a pair. So what you're gonna do is very simple. You're gonna hit the connect Bluetooth button. And then you're gonna hold the button on your module. You will notice how Bluetooth connected came on and we now have a green light on our module. Okay, so we're connected, we're ready to go. Second thing that uh, you want to do is select your function. So your functions, you can set master or slave, obviously. You can set the pattern. You can scan the patterns. And it can also advance patterns one by one if you choose to. Um, so we're going we're gonna to cancel that out. Uh, the next drop-down menu is the product. You want to select the product that you're working with gives you the option for the Fusion Single Color Surface Mount 2019, the Dual Color Fusion Surface Mount 2019, <coughs> the Single Color and the Dual Color Canons, T3s, and then of course the three of the Wide Lux family, the 9x7, the 7x3, and the 6x4. Of course, we are running the Dual Color surface mounts and i left this on here just because i wanted to show you guys this you can shut this off but this will explain to you and give you a little bit of wiring help so if you're not um you know very knowledgeable well 
I guess, honestly, if you're not knowledgeable about this stuff, you should not really be messing with it. But it gives you a little bit of wiring help. All right. So the next thing that you're going to do is select your pattern. Now, before we do that, I want to show you down here at the bottom the test button. So I already have this set to... I have a master and a slave already set between the two. So they will alternate. And I also have it set to color one and color two, a single slow pattern. So to make sure that that's where we're at, hold in the test button. You will notice how the two colors are offset from each other and they are on a single slow flash both colors so good we're good to go okay so let's say we want to change it what do you guys want to change it to um do you want to change it to um let's change it to something close okay so how about we do color one and two triple fast so i selected color one and two triple fast hit go it's going to cycle all by itself through these patterns and it's going to set us up accordingly once it has them set it will tell you Okay, so now it says that the modules have been updated. Use the test button to check the correct pattern is set. Close that out. We'll test them. I'd say it worked. Okay, so let's select another one just to um, test it out again. Oh boy, let's see. That's all the steady ones. Let's do the triple combo. Now, of course, we know that that's just one pattern away. Let's see how it works. All right, so we're all set. We'll close it and we'll test it. I would say they're working pretty well. Now, you guys may ask, why would it go through all those patterns if the pattern you choose is one pattern away so let me explain how this works so what this does okay now we have this pattern set here now it doesn't start out at the pattern that you have it set at now so what's going to happen is when you select a different pattern and you hit go what it's going to do is you'll notice that there is a slight pause at the beginning before it starts its pattern change. What it's doing is it's actually programming both lights back to the default setting. So what it's doing 
in essence, every time you change a pattern is it is starting from the beginning. So that's what's happening. Um, don't be alarmed. That's how this thing works. Um, it works very well. I've been using it now for a couple of weeks. I'm going to get a couple more of these and we're going to um, deploy them around the shop. Very impressed. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a nice piece of equipment. Um, very similar in looks to the Bluetooth. Um, 4200 module. Um, looks as though the positive and the negative are both fused at uh, 10 amps. Says this thing uses um, an amp draw of 8 amps. Nice um, cast aluminum base. Very nice little unit. Like I said, I don't recommend this as a purchase for everyone. But if you are doing multiple jobs where you're programming quite a few head, uh, light heads, this is definitely a benefit. It's a time saver for sure. Um... I love it. I think it's great. Going to grab a couple more. Uh, I think they're very beneficial. So there you have it, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down below. We love um, interaction with you guys. We love responding to um, all of those. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please smash that thumbs up button. Um, it helps us a lot. If you haven't already... We ask that you subscribe, click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any uploads. Be sure to be kind to one another out there in the trying times ahead of us here. Um, and until next time, be safe out there.